Leaf and Lizards is the fourth episode of the third season of Frasier. This is directed by Philip Charles McKenzie. And there will be spoilers as I discuss what happens in this episode. But to be honest, I don't have that much to say. I don't really care for this episode. I don't know if I'd say I dislike it. I don't think it's quite to the extent where I would skip it if I were binge watching season three, but it's definitely never going to be an episode that I choose for two reasons. One of them is a personal preference thing. I just cannot abide pranks. I absolutely hate them, but I also just don't think it's very funny. There were a couple of moments that I did enjoy, but in general, I just didn't feel anything really when watching this. And that is really unusual for an episode of Frasier, but on the bright side, it shows that I can think a little bit more critically about the show because usually I do just lap up everything it delivers and kiss the ground that Fraser walks on. So it's it's nice every now and then to remind myself that actually I don't absolutely love every single episode. And unfortunately, Leaping Lizards is one that just doesn't work for me. So I'll go through what happens in the episode, share a couple of thoughts. But as I said, I don't have that many extensive thoughts. I don't detest the episode but I personally just don't get much from it. But please feel free to let me know what you think of it. And if you love the episode, that's great. It starts off at KSCL. A lot of this actually takes place at KSCL, which I do quite like. And Niles is down there. We do have a great bit in the beginning that, that I really like, actually, where Fraser is reading out um, a speech he has to read about hypertension. Meanwhile, Niles is trying, trying to quietly open a wrapped candy, but making a lot of noise in the process. You know that thing where you try and be quiet but end up being more noisy? It was fine. Niles ended up shoving the sweet in his mouth with the wrapper. It was a nice way to start things off. Niles meets Kate, which was nice. I liked the interaction between them. I think all of that worked really well. And then we obviously have the pranks from Bulldog and Fraser confronts, well, maybe confronts is too strong a word, but he goes to Kate and says, you have to stop this because it's not fair. It's not acceptable. And Kate kind of said, okay, I'll sort it out. She brushes him off a bit. But to her credit, she goes to Bulldog. And I'd say this bit was maybe unpredictable. A nice little bit of uh, suspense building here for a couple of seconds as we think, what is she going to say to him? Is she going to really you know, have a go at Bulldog? Is she going to tell him politely to stop it? No, she gives him encouragement to keep going. And of course, Bulldog then does other pranks on Fraser. Now, I'm going to contradict myself here because I hate pranks. But at the same time, I think there should have been more pranks in this episode. We never got a really good sense of the different pranks that Bulldog would pull. There are a couple of them, but I think they could have done more with it. And because I don't care for the episode that much anyway, more pranks wouldn't have affected my enjoyment, I don't think. But at the same time, I think it would have made the episode a bit better. But we do get the Mikado prank, where Fraser ends up singing Three Little Maids, which is an absolute delight. At least for a couple of seconds, I enjoyed that. But actually, more than that, I enjoyed Martin's face when he came out of the bedroom with the radio. That bit, I definitely uh, did like. And once again, Fraser goes to Kate, who actually just turned around and says, she said that horrific thing that I hate. You just don't have a sense of humour. That's disgusting. I hate it. I hate that as a response to anybody who says they don't like pranks. It's horrible. But nevertheless, that's what she says. And it actually kind of kind of sits with Fraser a bit. And Martin ends up saying, you're just not funny. He didn't say it in a nasty way. Just to highlight that not everybody is going to be as funny as the next person. And Fraser is not happy about this. So he decides to do a prank of his own. And... Honestly, the prank itself is pretty creative. They put a, a lizard in a box. Don't know where the lizard came from. Well, I assume a pet store. A little bit random, but I didn't really care for it. I just didn't find the aftermath that entertaining with Kate losing some of her finger and going into the hospital. Yes, the hospital setting was quite nice. It was nice to have a, a slight change of scenery. And Kate's, Kate's behavior as the medication started to kick in was pretty entertaining but again I didn't love it I just didn't care for it when Kate you know grabbed hold of him and Fraser screamed it was it was okay but I just I don't love this episode it's definitely not the case that I hate it but I just don't find it that funny partly because I don't care for pranks so that doesn't appeal to me but also because I just don't think there's that much in it that's witty or clever and that's what I love about Fraser so every now and then there's going to be an episode I don't love, and this just happens to be one of them. But if other people love it, 
that's that's absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, it's just not one that I'm going to watch that frequently at all. <laughs> 